Today, I want to talk to you about the Ankh. I decided to do this video because in many videos regarding the Egyptian gods, this symbol appears, and I was asked through comments what it means and why most of the Egyptian gods are depicted with it in their hands. The Ankh is one of the oldest and most common symbols in ancient Egypt. A symbol of life itself, the Ankh is shaped like a cross with an oval head, with the other three arms having a slightly widening design as they stray away from the centre of the cross. The Ankh appears frequently in Egyptian tomb paintings and other art, often representing deities of the afterlife. It was often carried by Egyptians as an amulet, either alone or in connection with two other hieroglyphics that meant strength and health. Mirrors were often made in the shape of an Ankh. It is linked with the Egyptian god Osiris and the goddess Isis, the eternal mother and high priestess who carried the Ankh in her hand. But many other Egyptian deities are depicted with the Ankh in their hands. This symbol stands for life or living and forms part of the Egyptian words such as health and happiness. This is often why it is referred to as the key of life, which would unlock the gates of death, or sometimes known as the cross of life. Kings and pharaohs are oftentimes shown with the Ankh to distinguish them from mere mortals. The loop of the Ankh, which represents the womb, the feminine disciple, is considered to be the feminine, and the T-shape is considered to be the masculine, the masculine disciple or the penis. Together, these symbols create life and reflect a continued existence. It is sometimes called the Key of the Nile, the river that provided water for Egypt to survive. The Ankh is often associated with water, air and the sun rising over the horizon, which further reinforces the image of fertility and reproduction. Of course, the Ankh can be further taken to symbolise the power to give and sustain life. With its deep Egyptian roots, it's no wonder that it is widely used within the Christian Coptic Orthodox Church of Egypt. The early Coptic Christians used a cross known as the Crux Ansata, Latin for cross with the handle, that resembled an ankh. Modern Coptic crosses, however, are crosses with arms of equal length. A circle design is sometimes incorporated into the centre of the symbol, but it is not required. Today, the ankh is usually worn as an amulet, a protector or something which is considered to bring good luck to the wearer, coming from the Latin word amuletum, which is defined as a means of defence, to extend the life of the living here on Earth. It is believed that the Ankh will bestow immortality on anyone who possesses it. It's also thought that the life energy emanating from the Ankh can be absorbed by anyone within a certain proximity. An Ankh serves as an antenna or conduit for the divine power of life that permeates the universe. The amulet also provides the wearer with protection from the evil forces of decay and degeneration. Many people are also buried with the Ankh in order to ensure their life to come in the afterworld. I hope you learned more today about the Ankh than you already knew. I sure did. Yours truly, Mythos, the Historian.